Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to learn, we are going to practice how to perform a simple analysis on a cube. So this could be a little bit long video. So pause it here and uh, grab a cup of coffee for you. So after then, let's start. So uh, if we come to the book, so we left here in the last session as uh, we completed uh, making cube using uh, data source view. So we will start from here and uh, from the step number 10. So make sure that uh, your project is on and the database is running in the background using SQL Server. So let's start following the steps. So first of all, uh, we have to uh, add some uh, dimensions and select them and make their hierarchies. So these are uh, around uh, maybe some 30 steps or more. So let's start. Uh, simplifying dimensions and making their hierarchies. So first of all, you have to double click dim date dimension. Uh, and uh, in the solution explorer, and then we have to make its hierarchies. So let's see how we can do this. So here you can see all of the dimensions are displayed here. So this is the first dimension. So we will step by step simplify or analyze all of the dimensions double click here okay now you will be uh, you, you will now be in the dimension editor um, with the dim date dimension loaded the dimension editor contains three panes attribute hierarchies and data source view as shown in the figure uh, select all the columns in the dim date data table in the data source view except the key column and uh, drag and drop the selected columns to the attribute pane uh, action this action creates an attribute hierarchy for each of the column in the data uh, dim data table so what you have to do select all of these columns you can actually resize it to adjust the view then just select all of these attributes except the key attribute you can see there are these three areas here attributes area and hierarchy area and data source view area so you can see that uh, it has already um, the data key attribute date key attribute sorry so uh, you you, leave, you should leave it here and then select the rest of the attributes and drag them over here in the area of attributes now uh, we have to rename we have to rename the data key date key to the dim date We should rename it from here. Okay. So what's the next step? Step number 14, drag and drop fiscal quarter from attributes pane to the hierarchy pane. And uh, this created new hierarchy called hierarchy. So uh, we we will drag and drop fiscal quarter to the hierarchy span. Okay, done. So you can see its name is hierarchy here. So the step number fifteen is drag and drop month number of year onto the hierarchy span below the fiscal quarter this creates a second level in the hierarchies hierarchy 
so we will select which attribute month number of year so where is the month number of year you can search here month number of year so you will drag it onto this hierarchy okay so here you can see that blue rectangle you will drop it within the blue rectangle so it will make hierarchy fiscal quarter then month number of year and then comes step number 16 drag and drop the key attribute deem date onto the hierarchy span below the month number of year so we will select dim date and drag and drop again onto the hierarchy hierarchy and uh, within the blue rectangle so you can see this is the first level second level and third level so we have made our hierarchy of these three attributes so right click on the hierarchy hierarchy and select rename rename the hierarchy to the fiscal quarter month number of year so we will rename this hierarchy based on the attributes within it so we have renamed it now comes uh, the next step so after performing these set of steps uh, your hierarchies pane should be looking like this as shown in the figure so let's move to the eight step number 18 so now we will do the similar procedure with other dimensions so now you have to double click dimension in the solution explorer which dimension deem currency dimension so let's find it so here you can see dim currency dimension over here you have to double click it and then okay uh, you need to save this work and uh, come again here dim currency dimension is opened here okay now drag and drop currency alternate key to the attribute pane so here we can see this is a currency alternate key we need to drag drag and drop here and then rename the key attribute from the currency key to dim currency so we we need to uh, rename it to the dim currency just to show that this is a key attribute and then step number 20 we have done it and uh, step number 21 double click the dim customer dimension in the solution explorer so now the same thing save it we are done with that so uh, we have done with step number 20 and uh, now same this work and now we will move towards the next dimension uh, make sure uh, take a note that we have not uh, made any hierarchy here because we have only one uh, attribute here so now uh, comes step number 21 double click the dim customer dimension in the solution explorer this one so here we have dim customer dimension double click it rename the key attribute from the customer key to dim customer so we need to 
rename this key attribute from customer key to team customer. Rename, we have uh, done this step. Okay, let me highlight so we can remember that we have done with these steps. So now comes step number 23, drag and drop all the columns except the customer key from the name customer table uh, in the data source view pane to the attributes pane. So we need to drag and drop all the columns except this primary key, except this key column, key attribute from the table to the data source view, from the data source view to the attributes pane. So we have to select all of these columns from here. You can expand it. So you could comfortably select all of the attributes. And then drag them over here into the attributes pane. Okay. Now double click the dim sales territory dimension. Uh, into the switch explorer. So just save it and dim sales territory dimension over here. Step number 25, drag and drop all the columns from the dim sales territory table in the data source view pane, except key attribute, sales territory key to the attribute pane. So the same procedure, leave this key attribute and select others and then drag and drop to the attributes pane. So then rename the key attribute from sales territory key to dim sales territory. So you rename it dim sales territory so double click the dim product dimension in the solution explorer so now we will move towards the next save this work so we have to we have done with this step and uh, now we are on 27 double click on dim product dimension so where is dim product dimension so here we have dim product dimension double click it and rename renaming procedure so let's rename it and then done with this renaming procedure Drag and drop all the columns of dim product table, except product key and large photo from the data source view pane to the attributes pane. So first of all, we will increase its size to see all the attributes. And then remember, we have to deselect the product key and uh, large photo. So just select the rest of the things and then deselect large photo. And then drag and drop these attributes over here. Okay, double click the dim production, prom uh, sorry, uh, dim uh, promotion dimension in the solution explorer. So uh, we are moving towards next dimension. So save this work. Okay, 